the red planet, Earth's neighbor, and the destination of NASA's most ambitious mission to date. But this expedition will be harder than we ever thought possible. It hurts to think of how hard it is. It's the farthest a human being has ever been from the Earth. We gotta take every precaution. As NASA's astronauts arrive at Mars, they'll face a huge obstacle. Landing on the planet is a daunting task. In the past, Mars hasn't always rolled out the welcome mat. Mars is kind of like a graveyard for spacecraft. It's actually really hard to send something from Earth and land it on Mars. This is how the European Space Agency hoped its $250 million Schiaparelli lander would touch down in 2016. But the lander's systems got it wrong. The parachute detached early, sending the craft into freefall for 33 seconds. Schiaparelli smashed into the surface at 335 miles an hour leaving a deep black scar on the Martian landscape. It turns out that Mars is actually a particularly difficult planet to land on. Even humanity's most brilliant engineers, we, we've got about a 50% success rate when it comes to landing on Mars. The red planet is littered with dead spacecraft that didn't stick the landing. And for NASA's first crewed descent to Mars, the space agency must learn from these mistakes. But as the crew hurdles toward the surface, they're battling the same problem as all the landers that failed before. The Martian atmosphere is 100 times thinner than Earth's, so it can't provide the drag needed to slow a spacecraft down. So it's not like the Earth where you can have these big giant parachutes that gently glide you down to the surface. You can use some of the air, but it's hard. The red planet's thin atmosphere is a problem that's been billions of years in the making. Mars doesn't have a large atmosphere because it's constantly being peeled away due to the lack of protection of a magnetic field. The solar wind can strip away an atmosphere. On Earth, a liquid metal core creates a magnetic field, which shields the planet and helps maintain the atmosphere. Mars is different. 4.5 billion years ago, Mars and Earth formed from dust and gas in space. Mars forms where building materials were scarce. Its growth was stunted. So Mars is much smaller than the Earth. It's a factor of 10 smaller than the Earth. And that factor of 10 in mass is important. All of that extra mass allows the inside of the Earth to stay warm and to have a core that's rotating, which generates a magnetic field. Four billion years ago, the churning heart of Mars started to cool and solidify. And with no hot core, there's no magnetic field being generated. All of the high velocity charged particles coming from the sun pick away at the atmosphere and slowly tear it away. We know it's losing atmosphere every second uh, due to the solar wind. So, you know, bye-bye atmosphere. With little Martian atmosphere to work with, NASA had to be creative to get its crewless landers to the Martian surface. In 2012, the revolutionary Sky Crane landed the Curiosity rover using parachutes and retro rockets. Previous missions have used both a parachute and something else, like a bouncy ball inflated around the spacecraft.
I don't think a human crew is gonna be too pleased if they're gonna be bouncing onto the surface in an airbag rolling to a stop, right? To land people on Mars, NASA will need some new tricks. The 2020 rover will overcome the challenge with the advanced supersonic parachute inflation research experiment, Aspire. It will rapidly slow down the craft with the force of an airplane jet engine. This is fine for the rover. It's actually gonna work no problem, but it's not gonna work for people. A human lander will weigh far more than the 2,300 pound rover. Not even supersonic parachutes could land a crew safely on Mars. NASA will need a new plan. One idea is to use the thin Martian atmosphere in a unique way. There's an idea of coming in really fast, getting to the thick part of the atmosphere, and then going horizontal to the ground and gliding and losing your momentum that way. As the astronauts descend, they tilt the nose of the lander towards the Martian surface, aiming for the thickest part of the atmosphere close to the ground. Then they pull up at the last second using friction from the atmosphere to slow the craft. Descent engines switch on for the final touchdown. Is this a crazy idea? I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little bit weird. I don't know if we'd really think about it, uh, doing something like this, but I mean, you've got to think outside the box sometimes. Right now, NASA's plans for landing a craft on Mars are still on the drawing board. But even if they can get astronauts onto the surface, the thin atmosphere isn't done with them yet. It causes swirling dust storms that cover the planet's entire surface. Mars doesn't just have dust devils, it has dust hell. And these towering clouds have killed before.